The privately funded SpaceX Dragon capsule docked on Sunday with the International Space Station. The capsule delivered more than a half ton of supplies to six astronauts. The mission shows the increasing role private enterprise is playing in space exploration. Neil deGrasse Tyson is an astrophysicist and director of New York's Hayden Planetarium. His book, Space Chronicles, is now available in paperback. We're pleased to have him here. Thanks for having me back. Oh, thank yeah. you. So what does this mean, private enterprise, for the future of NASA on the one hand and space exploration? On the other. That's an excellent question. And first, this should have been happening decades right. ago. Just mm -hmm. put, let me put that on the table. Uh, NASA doesn't need to use its own resources to get to low Earth orbit. It had been going there since 1962. If we think of NASA as a space agency that is leading a frontier, that's where you discover what patents are necessary to do what's never been done before. And once that has happened, you then cede that to private enterprise who, in every case in the past, has done it more efficiently. So more power to SpaceX and anyone else who's thinking of doing such a thing. Including it, the millionaire entrepreneur, Dennis Tito. He's announced plans he wants to send a married couple on a flyby of Mars in January 2018. I mean, what do you think the chances of success for that are? Well, you know, I, personally, I think they're low, but I. The, the takeaway here is that if nobody else is doing it, he's going to want to do it, all right? And so it, it's, it's, a, it, it's telling how deep the sentiment is within a population that has the resources to want to do it. The difference between the Dennis Tito case is, is of course, that's not a business model, all yeah, right? It's right. more a stunt. If you have the money and you want to do it, you can try to do it. But I think what it will do is it's a wake-up call to the rest of us mm -hmm. that if countries aren't going to do it, people... The people want to do it, whether or not the nations do. Can we put a man or woman on Mars, and should we? I think when you do things like that, people always ask, well, what's the return on that? And what, what's the spinoff? It's not even about that. It's what force does that operate? In what way does that force operate on our culture? You have to innovate to make that happen. And that hit makes a headline. And people see these headlines daily. That's what happened in the 60s. Every next mission was more ambitious than the previous one. And when, you, when, when that's the case, the press talks about it. Mm. The, went farther, faster, longer. So, so if you had a moon project, so the idea, as President Kennedy said, we'll put a man on the moon in the next 10 years, what would it be? The project would be, let's put a person wherever they want to go in the entire solar system. It's not, well, let's go here now and we'll think about the rest of discovery later. Let's go everywhere. Line up a suite of launch vehicles. So the scientists yeah. want to go back to okay. Mars, just, to asteroid. So, so where would your curious mind make you want to go? Well, as a scientist, I, I want to go ice fishing on Europa. There which you go. <laughs> which has a, a thick encrusted ice sheet on its top, but it's kept warm yeah. by gravitational stresses of Jupiter that might be light. Down there. Can I ask you, we okay. talked about on this show a lot, that asteroid, which you said buzz cut uh, oh, yeah. us and is going around, and you think it's going to come back and hit us. Oh, I don't have to, you do the calculation, it will. When? Uh, all, <laughs> <laughs> all, all asteroids whose orbit cross that of the Earth will eventually collide with Earth. And you want to you want to catalog as many of these as possible so that you can project as far into the future as you can when they'll hit so that you can do something about it. And I hope that which we do about it is not run that we are motivated enough using our space resources to do something about it. But you know my favorite cartoon, one dinosaur says to the other, now is the time to build this asteroid defense system. <laughs> we need it, I know. Wow, Thank fascinating. You, it's great to see you. Yeah, great to see keep you. looking up.